I think it's good. We've got heaps of different cultures in um, in NRL playing at the moment, um, men and women. So um, no, it's pretty good to recognise it. And you know, myself, I've got lots of cultures as well. I'm multicultural as well, and it's just cool to recognise it. You know, especially for a round like this. So it's pretty special. Tell us about your background. You've got a few cultures, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm Swiss, Filipino, and Samoan. So. Um, my dad's Swiss Philo and my mum's full so um, I'm pretty proud to I'm pretty proud to be that. Um, oh yeah. And what about this weekend? Uh, double header, I guess, for the women who played before you. Is that pretty cool? Make sure both teams are at some good. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I think there's going to be a pretty good crowd as well, and um, you know, just to have the women's team there. They've won it for the last three years, and um, have us there as well. It's um, going to be pretty cool. Um, you know, we get to watch them a bit before we play. So um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I think he's alright. I think we're just going to rest him um, just because he's just come back from knee Rico and his first two games have been pretty good and it's been pretty tough. So um, it's good, he just needs a rest and um, he'll be good to go for Sunday. So you reckon he'll definitely play? Yeah, he'll be sweet. That's yeah. a boost, isn't it, mate? He went through, he's gone through a tough time, hasn't he? Yeah, no, he hasn't. Um, it's just good to have him back these first two rounds. It's helped a lot. and. Um, you see what Paddy brings into our team. Um, yeah, you know we can't afford to lose someone like him again. So, what is it, Paddy brings? I think that aggression and you know also he's got calmness about him. You don't really see it on the field, but he does have calmness about him. You know it's um, controlled aggression what he's got in him and um, just what he brings into our team. You know you know when you got Pat there in the forward pack, it um, gives you a lot of confidence. So yeah. When you saw him walk up, did your heart stop a bit? Nah, I know he's alright. He's a tough dude. So um, no, I think we just need to rest him a bit and. Um, you know, just rest him up for, um, for Sunday. You seem to be hunting as a with him, aren't you? Mate? He's providing as many leaders as you are, so you've got a good combination going. Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, like I said, we know what Paddy bring, and um, he didn't get to showcase that last year, but um, he showed it in 2020 as well. And um, yeah, you know, what you guys have seen um, on the field, we've seen it for a while now. So um, yeah, just real happy to have him back. Are you happy with your minutes? The way like it's been adjusted, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, it's good, you know. Um, we've got good players on the bench as well coming on on the field, so um, you know I can afford to do that, and it's um, pretty good. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Get more rest. Forty thousand. What what does it do to you when you play in front of a packed support? Yeah, I think it lifts you. Um, you know, it's pretty hard sometimes when you're playing at ANZ or something like that, and it's only about eight thousand people there. But um, you know, when you come to Suncorp, they bring that energy already, and um, you just sort of lift for it. So um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool this Sunday. And what do you think you're doing better team-wise this year? I think we're just playing together more, um, especially our defence, I'll say, put that down to that. Um, last week we didn't have the ball as much and um, we scrambled for each other really well and um, that's probably the first time in a few years we've seen that. So, um, yeah, to see that kind of defence is um, really helping us and I think that's what we really improved on from the last few years. And the Bronx have got a six-year contract here. They obviously want to be the long ball. For you, what's, what will be the key decision whether you, you sign that or not? Um... Like I've said before to you, Pete, um, I've, had, I've got about three more years to go on my current contract, so I'm in no rush to extend or nothing like that. So um, you know, I'm just going to take it week by week, um, you know, just trying to play the best footy I can for this team, and all that stuff will sort itself out with my agent and all that. So, yeah. So, in terms of, for the fans that are saying, okay, why is not we signing an extension? Do you just have a message for them that you're not looking out? No, I'm not. There's nothing really there, what I can say, but you know, I've gone through some stuff lately, and you know, I've just been trying to just focus on my footy, so you know, I've tried to put that stuff to the side and um, just want to play the best footy I can for the boys, so yeah, that's all. Kurt Capel reckons you're the best prop in the game, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm still young, I'm still young, so no, we'll see how I go next few years and yeah, yeah, we'll see how I go. How much better do you feel you can get playing? Like, you've already set such high standards, but where do you go the next level? What parts of the game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I'm only 22 at the moment and um, you know, I've still got a lot to learn, I feel like, and especially you know, if I just keep on learning and keep on being a sponge, um, you know, I think I've got lots of improvement in me still to go. And um, yeah, as long as I keep on learning that training and trying to better myself, um, yeah, I should get there. Mate, you good mate, Sonny Bill. Had a fight last night. Yeah. Of course, it didn't last very long, but now um, you talk about the influence he's had on you, and he's been a bit of an inspiration for you, hasn't he? Yeah, um, when I first came into NRL, um, he helped me out a lot, especially being a fellow Muslim, you know. Um, you know, he's helped me out a lot um, with certain stuff and some of the troubles I've gone through. Um, he's helped me. He's been there for me, and um, just to see him last night do what he done, um, yeah, I was 
pretty nervous before the fight. I couldn't talk to anyone. Um, I was real nervous, but to see that happen, I was so relieved. So I'm um, so happy for him. You know, he deserves it. Um, he's one of the best athletes in the world, and um, yeah, I'm just so happy for him. Hey, how do you manage your talents when externally and probably internally with the team are telling you how good you are? Um, I think mainly it goes down to the circle I have around me. Um, you know, I got my family and got some good mates around me as well um, you know, to keep me level-headed and keep me grounded. So um, no, I think that's been instilled to me as a kid as well. You know, you've just got to stay um, you know, down to earth and um, you're never better than what you are. So um, it's all good. So, yeah. The only two games in, but does this year feel different? Yeah, I think it does, especially with the players we've got. Um, you know, we had Ren back last week and you could see his kicking game helped us a lot. Um, you know, sometimes Bulldogs are coming out of their own end and um, just little discipline stuff we... Um, let them up a bit, but you know if we fix that, um, we're going to be a pretty hard team to beat. So, um, and with Capes as well, his defence never um, never gives up that guy, and it just rubs off, rubs off, on, rubs off on all of us. And yeah. Probably a pain, but you've been through some tough times the last two years. But to the sort of competitive side like you are, it's winning competitions and making this tough great again. Is that the driving force for you? Yeah, the end goal is to win the comp, that's, um, that's for sure. But, um, you know, like I said, we're going to take it week by week, um, day by day, and just you know, our training, be better and see what we can do better. And, yeah, the ultimate goal is to win a comp and make this comp great again. So, yeah. yeah. What about Jason Tamalolo this week? He's a beast, isn't he? You feel like you're still pain. You look forward to that midfield battle? Yeah, you know, um, you know, players like us, Jason, all that, we all um, look forward to these kind of battles. And um, I know he'll be up for this as well, and our forward pack will. As well, you know, they played good last week against a good Canberra pack, and I think they dominated them last week. So um, they'll look to do that again, and um, we'll be looking to do the same to them. So can't wait. What did you talk about with the, the playing group and maybe the forwards when he talked about being poked um, in his post match presser? He said, Oh, there was poked, and he really came out firing. Was that like you more intimidated, or you were you ready for it? No, I think that just makes you more ready for it. Um, you know, you look forward to these kind of battles, and this is what you play for these kind of battles. So. Um, yeah, we just can't wait for Sunday afternoon. It'll be a good game and it'll be pretty physical, so yeah. That rivalry, can you weigh in on it? No, it's been pretty tough the last few years. You know, we've just gone down to the wire each, um, each year, so um, yeah, you know, just got to go out there, complete our sets, and um, we should be fine, so we're going to defend well and yeah, we should get the job done, but yeah, it'll be a tough game. Thank you.